Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll see how to create custom functions in Excel using VBA. These are also called user-defined functions or UDF. And that means that on top of the functions that you have here uh, in Excel, so these are the built-in functions, we can create our own function. But to do that, we need to use Excel VBA, Visual Basic for Applications. So let's go to the Visual Basic Editor as usual, we're going to insert a module. So the function is actually very similar to a macro, but instead of a sub procedure, it's going to be a function procedure. So we can name the function whatever we, we want. And as an example, I'm going to use the convert to Celsius function. And that's, a, and that's a very simple function and probably a classic when explaining how to create custom functions. And this is going to take the temperature in Fahrenheit as input. So temp Fahrenheit as an integer. And our function is also going to return an integer, so as an integer. Now here we can simply add the formula. So convert to Celsius is going to equal whatever temperature in Fahrenheit we have, minus 32, and let's put all of this in parentheses divided by 1.8. So that's the formula to convert Fahrenheit into Celsius. If we come here and we say, this is my temperature in Fahrenheit, and here the temperature in Celsius, and let's say we have 60 degrees in New York, and then we come here with the equal sign and start typing convert to Celsius, and we see immediately our new function here then we can refer to this cell and get the temperature in Celsius. Now, that's a rounded number because we use integer. We can actually change that to a single or a double, depending, in both cases. And then if we retype, we see we get actually the number with decimals. Then we can format it as we as we need, right? Then we see we've got our function added here to user defined functions. There it is. And we can actually create much more sophisticated functions. Let me give you another example. I have here some data in this other sheet. This is some sales data with the date of the sale, the quantity or the number of items sold, the price per quantity, and the total price. And then we want to create a function to calculate the discount based on several parameters, such as, for example, the date and the quantity. So again, we go to the Visual Basic Editor. And down here, I'm going to create another function, which is going to be sales discount. And it's going to take as, as input the sales date as a date. OK, uh, then it's going to take the number of uh, sold items as an integer. And then the sales price as a currency, actually. And finally, our sales discount is going to return uh, a value as a currency as well. So let me move here so that we see everything in one line. So the sales discount is going to take these three parameters. And then let's say we want to give a discount for all the items from last year. So if the sales date is less than 01, 01, 2023, so anything from 2022, then we're going to have a sales discount of um, the sales price times uh, 25%. But else, if the item is from 2023, here we are just going to give a discount if we sell more than 10 units, for example. So here we say if sold items is greater than 10, then we're going to say the sales discount is going to be the sales price times, for example, 15%, uh, 
Okay, we can end the if statement here, and we can end the other if statement here. So this is our function. It's a bit more sophisticated than the previous one, as you see, and we could actually insert as many conditions and as many calculations as we want. Now, if we go back to our data here, and then we come to this scan and we say sales discount, we get here our function. And by the way, if you click Control Shift A, you get actually the name for each of the input variables. So we see here we have the sales date, then the sold items, and the sales price. So I'm going to refer to column A for the sales date, comma, then for sold items, I'm going to refer to column B, comma, and then for sales price, this is actually going to be the total price here in column D, not the price per unit. So let me move one forward. And here we get our discount, which is 60. Uh, we just need to format this as per, as per the other one, which was a currency uh, with euro. And if we drag the function down, we get the discount for the other items. So we get 30 euro discount here because that's also from uh, the previous year. And then in 2023, we only get a discount for sales over, over 10 items. And that's here a 39.6% discount, a 15% discount. And then of course we can just get the final price as the difference between the total price and the discount. And here's our final price, including the discount. So that's our function. Uh, as you see, that's also included here in our user-defined functions. Now, if we want to use the function in another uh, workbook, so let me open another, another workbook. As long as this one is open, we can still use the function. So if we go to function, user-defined functions, we see we still have here our user-defined functions. Now, note the name is a bit different. It refers to the workbook where the function is located. So book one, convert to Celsius, book one, sales discount. So that's not so convenient. And on top of that, of course, if we close the first workbook, we will not see the functions in any other workbook. So the only way to do that is creating an Excel add-in with the functions that we want to make available to anyone who installs the add-in, of course. So that's how we create custom functions or user-defined functions in Excel using, of course, Visual Basic for applications. Thanks for watching.